does not get old. What's up, everybody? This is Steve Sterlacci. Welcome to the Line 6 Helix 3.7 update. This is a pretty big update considering the age of Helix. Old Grandpa Helix is still kicking and giving us some great additions and great features. If it's your first time here, my name's Steve Sterlacci. I do a bunch of guitar modeling videos. I have over 150 or something Helix videos, HX Stomp, Podgo, you name it. Um, so consider subscribing it's your, if it's your first time here. And today it's all about the 3.7 update, the original amp update. We have a lot of interesting additions here and we have a couple of things that I've really been looking forward to and hoping that Line 6 incorporates and we're gonna get to those in a bit. Let's just get right into it, why waste any time? Before we get started, when you update your unit, please follow the instructions. They're there for a reason. Do your factory reset, do your update the normal way like everybody should and hopefully you don't run into any problems. I can't tell you how often people tell me their presets behave weird and most of the time it's because they don't do their factory reset after they update. Please do that. So, new amps. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten new amps. Grandpa Helix coming up clutch still with the new amps. Um, all the original amps are from are ported over from the Line 6 Catalyst line. So the Catalyst was a popular modeling amp that they made a couple years ago that's got all these amps built into it. Now ported over. Brit 2203 Classic Marshall JCM 800. Awesome. Um, we have a vitriol clean. We've got a couple of iterations of vitriol in there already, but now we got the clean channel. Mmm, basin. Finally, U.S. Dripman. This is a 69 drip edge silver face basement. I have a 63 basement over there, which I've been begging anyone to put in their modeling units, but nobody seems to love the 63 basement, despite it being the first choice among every session player ever. Anyways, and then we got Mandarin 200, 8200 base amp. A bunch of new cabinets added. These are not new cabs. Well, I think the Greenback 30 is a new cab, but these are uh, the new cab engine. So all of the new cabinets, uh, the new movable mics and all that stuff that was added in 3.5, more cabinets are added into that software. We also have, finally, after all this time, a Nobles ODR-1. So if you watched any of my videos before with my touring setup, I tour with the HX Stomp XL and my Nordland ODRC, which is the Nobles, but like the original maker made a new one. It's the Nobles circuit. So we finally have a Nobles ODR1 circuit. Unfortunately, it's not the vintage one. It looks like they copied a new one, which is not my favorite, but we're gonna see how it sounds. Um, I think it's gonna be fine, but it's not gonna be the vintage one. It's gonna be a modern repro one, which I would have loved to have had a real vintage one modeled or maybe eventually have an option for that. That'd be cool. Next one is the Steve Cook special. My friend Steve Cook plays bass for Phil Vassar. He's a great uh, producer. Bass player, he always uses the Noble Bass DI and it looks like that was added in here. Maybe someone has a little bit more influence than I do. Another one, huge, huge, huge. This is the Feedbacker. This is the actual pedal that so many people have requested. A lot of people only use their Helix and HX with a freak out pedal from a Digitech and now it looks like we have a real feedbacker. There's a ton of literature on this, so read up on this and make sure you do some homework before you check that out. Dynamic Bloom, another original reverb. Looks like it's gonna be a nice one. Um, Nonlinear reverb, something I'm probably never gonna use, but maybe if that's your thing, you can find a use for nonlinear reverb. I personally turned it on and was like, I don't get it. But that's just me. Your mileage may vary. We also got uh, auto value in the cab delay block, nothing too exciting. And I think we're done going over that. Let's get into some sounds. So I already built this preset. Let's get into some of these sounds. This is the 2203 with a cabinet that I put together. Which one did I use here? I use the 212 standard 57121 setup that I use. You can copy those settings. And let's hear how the 2203 sounds. <laughs> Isn't that fun? That was me hitting the feedbacker. What a cool effect. This is so much fun to play with. Mm -hmm. 
that does not get old. I don't think it's perfect, but at least as far as fake feedback is going to go, it's as good as it can get. I know a lot of people use the Digitech, uh, the Digitech Freakout pedal with their Helix, but now this is fine. Uh, you can check out my settings here. This is just kind of what I settled on, what felt natural to me. Um, you can mess around with all of these. Like, let's do a plus two octave. These all sound really cool. By the way, we're going into the feedbacker demo already. <laughs> So I've got it set uh, where I like it. And my attack and release times are four seconds and six seconds. I like the four second because I feel like feedback needs to happen after you want it to. Like it shouldn't happen instantly. It should kind of linger and kind of taper in. And I think at this setting it does that. Um, I could save this as a favorite and I can upload this to my website or custom tone if you guys want to download this for free, this whole preset. But yeah, mess around with this, read up on this because there's a lot of parameters to be messed with there. I've also got the, the dynamic plate on here right now. Let's move this to stereo and add that dynamic bloom. So this is the new dynamic bloom reverb. definitely see myself overusing the hell out of that feedbacker pedal. There's also one more that I'm really excited about. So we're going to go to the bass folder. Why the basement amp is in the bass folder confuses me. Uh, who uses the basement for bass? Does anybody actually do that? I know it's a bass amp. It should be with the bass folder, but is it really? Everybody uses a basement for a guitar amp. It should at least be in both. Isn't the 59 Tweed Blues, isn't that a 59 Bassman? Why is that in the guitar amps, but the Bassman Drip Edge is not? Whatever. So here's what that sounds like, same cab settings. This is just pulled up stock, and now let's mess with my favorite, the Nobles ODR-1 Overdrive. I've been begging for this to be put into the Helix since day one. I'm a huge Nobles buff. I've got vintage ones in pretty much every recreation of it. The unfortunate thing, and this is a downer, I know, I know, I know. Um, it's the reissue version, so this is not the, this is not meant to be the vintage version. about right gain stage wise I'm gonna go back to the uh, to the plate rear. The, the bloom is cool I'm not a huge reverb buff I like me some just regular old plate and call it a day you know like it's there but not super noticeable that's fine enough for me especially for a demo I'm gonna bring down the drive on the amp a little bit and now let's hit the noble. So natural sound doesn't really color much. But I think it just adds the perfect fatness to a sound. Now you know me, I'm a telly guy. Grab my number one touring guitar. This is my iconic vintage modern. This is more what the Nobles is designed for. So we've got a telly into a broken up basement. Great bass tone, but now.
So the Nobles kind of just shaves off the harsh frequencies and just gives it a nice warm sound. Um, you can get crazy with the drive. Typically, I will just leave it like this and this will always be my drive sound, but you can turn it up if you want. But as you turn it up, it gets bassy, which is now where the vent, the over the uh, reissue comes into play because the reissue has a bass cut, the vintage one does not. Backer, so much fun. I'm gonna keep overusing the hell out of that thing. Octave and two octave are the best settings in my opinion. I'm getting some, I'm really inspired ripping sounds right now with just the nobles and the basement, um, it's hard to beat. Though that This combination's hard to beat. This is like basement, nobles, uh, that's that's my wheelhouse. That's where I love to live. Uh, I love to play that type of stuff. Let's uh, best with some of the new amps. Just gonna briefly go over these in the one cabinet. Um, Clarity's gonna be super clean, I bet. Not with the pedal turned on. Yeah, so I'm going to glance through these quick. Obviously, the clarity is clear and clean. There's no hair on that whatsoever. Aristocrat. Aristocrat's pretty sweet, nice, crunchy sound. Nice. Carolyn, Carrion, how do you pronounce this one? In your face clean. Kind of has that plasticky, clean sound. Probably not a go-to, but. This is a pretty in-your-face. Is that a little bright? I'm gonna, if you want to see more demos of these, just type in which one you like, and I'll try to put together a video for it. Oblivion. This doesn't seem like it's gonna be my sound. high gain drop D with the telly uh, and the rest I think we've so that does it for the 3.7 update from line six go update your helix HX stumps check this out anything you saw in this video let me know if you want more in-depth tutorial or videos on and I'll be sure to try to cover it and uh, if you made it this far to the video thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one